taking screenshots on Samsung DeX in a much better way. Samsung DeX built-in screenshot feature works great for quick uh, screenshots, annotations, and etc. But it's, it's not enough for me. So before I'm showing you the two apps that I'm using day to day using uh, while I'm working from home using only DeX. First of all, let me do a, show you a quick rundown what the built-in screenshot um, feature, screenshot program inside Samsung DeX allows you to do. So there is an icon next to a clock. If I click on that, it takes a screenshot I have crop tag and share, I'll click on a crop and I'm doing this quicker and faster because I'm trying to do quicker because this black line will stay there for about four to five seconds. So here we go, I have a screenshot of uh, all the website, all the page. So let's say I want these four icons to be in a screenshot. So I need to move all the way to the right, drag the corner here. Now all the way to the left bottom, drag the corner here. So here we go, I do have this, let's annotate, let's pick up the pen, let's say pick, I will pick this pen, red color, and and I'll, I'll circle around. Somebody asking me what apps I'm using or something. So I say, I done a screenshot and I'm saying, here you go. You need to download this app. Great. And then I'm like, hold on. No, it's not this app. It's this app. The guy, the person needs to download the Parsec instead of Termux. Okay, I need to reposition this. And I hope the camera can pick it up. The, the um, mouse pointer changed into a mouse uh, icon where arrows pointing up, down, left, right. So for me, this indicating that great, I can take this uh, square and I can reposition, move it to the left. Okay, let's do this. So I take this and I move it. No, I can't because it start drawing and that's some, that bugs me like hell. So for me to uh, reposition, I need to drag the corner here. Okay, let's drag a bit more. Let's drag this one here. Let's pick the rubber, uh, delete this. And, oh, I just, it's, it's, it's a noise. It's, it's just, it's not ideal. It's not ideal, it's a lot of me, uh, marking something back and click on the rubber then doing this it's, and it's not really user friendly but for my use because um the mouse with the mouse it is a bit wonky to um to 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 um take a screenshot and annotate uh, to be honest so built-in one like i said it's it's doing a job but it's just not enough for me so i went on into a google play store and I downloaded about 25 to 30 apps that said it's had the screenshot features. And I tested them all on the decks and I uh, narrowed down my list to two apps, which I would like to share with you. App number one, Screen Scissors. Screen Scissors is the free app, free screenshot taking app available inside the Google Play Store. So if I quickly search Screen Scissors, here we go. So screen scissors, screenshot, and freeform snip. I already downloaded that, uh, downloaded that one and installed. So let me quickly demonstrate how it's working. I do have an icon here. So let's move icon. Here you go. I do have an icon. If I run it, it opens up in the um, in the window mode. Uh, I have a couple options here. I can have a floating window. What that means then when I'll start the start capture service, when I click on that the icon appears, and this is the icon, the a circular screen scissors app icon appears that's permanently stuck, either on the right hand side of the screen or the left side of the screen. So it's permanently there. Obviously I can turn that off. If I turn that off for me to start the screenshot program, I can click on the screenshot, uh, screenshot scissors icon on the inside the notification option. So I'm just gonna turn this on and I'm gonna leave it there. Next one is notification shade. Don't know what this does. To be honest, I not have this turned on. I don't really care as long as, to be honest, I don't know what it does. Uh, key combination is on. So that means that when you have this app is running, the key combination is, for example, on my Galaxy Tab S6 and on Note 9, I need to press on Note 9 uh, power and volume down. The same I need to do on a Tab S6. Press the power and volume down. By pressing these two icons, uh, this app will trigger, will get triggered and the screenshot will be taken. Next one is shake, uh, rectangular snippet. Uh, okay, let's let's say rectangular full screen or free form snippet. Um, let's leave it as a rectangular by default. And so here we go. This is all running and the fat path where the files got saved is a storage emulated zero pictures screen scissors. So let's take a screenshot. At the moment, please note the screen is in the 
window mode. The app is running in a window mode, so please note on that. So I'll click on this icon, and that's where I, I just said, please note this is a window mode. That is the area I can interact with after I'm starting this app. So right now I can only use this portion of the of the uh, app, and because app was started, that's why only this app screen is active or I can interact with. I hope you, you, you're getting what I'm, I'm trying to say. So what I need to do, I need to go full screen and close it. And now when I take click this icon, it's selecting entire screen for me to interact with. So I can say, I want to take a screenshot of this. No, I want to take this, no, this, 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 this. And I can move this form, this rectangular square, you go one by one, uh, you go, I can move it around. So that's the four apps I was trying to take a screenshot. I can reposition. Okay, great, no problem. This app doesn't, uh, don't have the annotation feature. So it's only taking a screenshot and that's it. One other thing, what is slightly, not an issue, but I, I decided to mention for you, uh, it's worth mentioning to be honest, uh, I can take a screenshot of all the screens. So at the top, some of the icons, folders on my Samsung Dex screen getting chopped off. So I can really select on entire web, entire page, 100% coverage of the screen. It's not really a big deal because most of the time when I need to take a screenshot uh, of anything, usually is around this area. So it doesn't really bug me if it's, so I'm missing something at the top or the bottom after taking a screenshot. But anyway, let's make this, uh, let's select these four icons. Click done. Once I click done, that's what I will get. And I click save and it's saving inside pictures slash screen scissors. That's where it's getting saved at the bottom top, sorry, at the top right hand corner, I have option to share. So I click share, it's opening the, all the apps that I can share, delete, and there is a three dot menu where I can click edit. So if I click edit, I have an option to open via Google Photos, Gallery Go, Snapseed or Xodo. And next one is crop. I can crop it again uh, using different apps, but I can crop it, but it's not built in in this app. You're just using other apps to complete the set picture as basically it's like a wallpaper. Uh, details, gives me details about this picture. It's uh, 47 kilobytes. It's uh, 3, 377 pixels by 307 pixels. And if I click print, I can obviously print this, but I'm not gonna show that to you. Uh, and that's it, so this is done. And I do have a folder on my screen. If I open this up, here you go. This is the I, the screen that I took, a screenshot that I took using a screen scissors. And obviously, like I said, you can do the same thing by clicking on notification and clicking yes. And it should take you a screen. All right, because this is on. Let me try. Why is that wanna work? I thought it's supposed, it was doing previously. Anyway, I think the app has got updated. No, it is. I'm just being too quick. I'm trying to do this too much in, 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 in such a speed that the app is, is can't can keep up with me. But anyway, I, I tend to use the um, the floating window. That's, 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 that's when I need to take a screenshot. So this is Screen Scissors, uh, the screenshot app that I, I know that I need to take, take a screenshot without annotation without annotating, adding text or anything, just take quickly a screenshot and just share it. So this is the app I'm using. Now let's talk about the second one. And the second one called LightShot. LightShot is, there is a service called Screenshot LightShot. I think that's the name is. So let's quickly uh, go to the website. Oh, I'm opening the best website in the world. Let's go to LightShot Screenshot. I'm just Googling this. And here we go. The first web page opens up LightShot. When I was working from office using a Windows PC, this was the probably the most useful piece of the software I had installed in my Windows machine. Because when you're installing this and it's run on a taskbar, every time I press the print screen on my keyboard, the app triggers and I can then select, annotate, add text, draw, and then save it locally, upload to their cloud storage. All this is free. They just gives you a bunch of ads. But to be honest, that doesn't bother me because the link that I'm sending to the clients and customers, they will see the ads. Uh, I'll show it to you, but it doesn't bother. It's free and it was amazing on the Windows. So when I realized and when I found out that this actually available on the Android side as well, it was probably like, yes, 
let's do this, let's try this. And this is probably the best way for me to take the screenshots on the Samsung DeX. It's not ideal, but it does the job. So, and obviously I already now connected. So if I click on my gallery, uh, actually it's triggered right now that I do have the both apps installed. I have a gallery app of LightShot installed and a LightShot. They're not like a separate app, they're just separate branches of the one single app you install. And I'll show it to you, but if uh, I'll show you how the gallery looks like and etc. Let's run LightShot. So once I run LightShot, at the moment, as you can see, I do have a bunch of things here. I'm just gonna leave it out. When you run it, you can create an account. Creating an account is super easy, email and a password. You create an account, and every time you take a screenshot to this app index, you'll get an option to save locally or upload. Uploading happens automatically, I do believe. I just always leave upload because I know if I need to go back and so, let's say I delete all the images of my decks, I know there is a their cloud service where I can go and pick up the, the screenshot that I took and just share share from the history. So right now it's all fine. Under settings, usual user key, key uh, use device hotkeys. Yes, the same one if I'm pressing power and volume down, it's gonna do a screenshot. I'm just gonna leave that there. Pretty much setting, settings wise, I changed nothing. I do believe, no, I changed nothing. No, yes, 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 no, I changed nothing. So right now I'm just gonna go full screen uh, just to make sure that app when I'm taking a screenshot, it will cover entire screen. And now I do have an icon here. With the this one, uh, you can move an icon anywhere in the screen and it's gonna stick there. With the screen scissors, it's all this side of the screen, this side of the screen. You can leave it at the bottom or the top. Usually I tend to leave this all the way next to a clock. So I know it's there. I can always click and do a screenshot. So let's try to do a screenshot. I click on this icon and because I left the app running in a full screen mode, I do have entire screen again for me to play around. And the best part of it, this gives this app gives them, um, this app is better than previous one, especially the built-in one, all the screen scissors. I can add, highlight, draw, put arrows, text, draw a circle, draw a rectangular crop. So let's right now crop to, let's say, center of this wallpaper. So click crop. Let's say this way. Okay, now I need to move a bit here. Okay, okay, it's a bit too small. Let's make a bit bigger. Okay, slide it down. There we go, reposition. Now there's a tick on the top right hand corner that I need to press for app to take a screenshot and crop it straight away. The slightly bugs me when I go all the way to press a tick, the actual, the top menu appears and I sometimes click X by accident. So I, uh, when I'm using this, I need to be extra cautious, but sometimes it happens, you take a screenshot, you, and you just buy black X, or you press X and it's just, you need to start all over again. So I try to move the mouse pointer slower than usually to uh, go into this location and then click on the tick. So that's it, I do have an now screenshot. At the top I have redo or uh, undo or redo. The next one, the third icon is the cloud. You basically uh, add the, you send this image, what you see now to the cloud. There is a three dots, which gives you save locally or share. So straight away share this. And at the bottom I have, like I said, color, crop, rectangle, square, uh, sorry, circle or rectangle and a highlight and etc. etc. So first of all, let's do a highlight. And we're gonna all use all this with the green color. Okay, so I picked the green color. So highlight, there you go, I'm highlighting this. And I do believe it this should have the size. So, no, I don't think you can say, no, you don't, you can't change the size. But they don't really care. Uh, so highlighting, that draw something. So there you go, I'm drawing around, that's fine. Let's say I need to put the arrow. So arrow goes here, arrow goes here, and arrow goes here. I need to add the text, fantastic. Let's add a text. Testing, I added the text, click set, and the text is here. I need to draw a square, fine. I need to draw a circle, fine, fine. And it's it has so much annotation features compared to the previous one. I love using this app. And now what I'll do, I'll just click share to the cloud. So it's now sharing and I click share on the notification. I can pick either one of these apps to send the link to someone who needs to open the screenshot. That's fine. 
And if I open the LightShot app, it's right now saving the screenshot that I just took. And there's an icon. I can click icon to indicate that I can share. I click copy to clipboard. So I copy to clipboard. Let me open DuckDuckGo um, browser to make sure that the cache is cleared. Paste, enter. And this is the screenshot I took. Okay, let me resize the screen window a bit. Okay. Okay. Yes, here we go. This is the screenshot I took. And right now, there's like a ads supposed to pop up, but DuckDuckGo blocking them. And right now, you share this link to anyone who wants to see the screenshot. And there you go. So, screen scissors is better than the built in feature. Built in screenshot feature takes a screenshot, but there's no annotations. But easy to reposition, etc. after you took a screenshot. And LightShot is much, much better one because it has annotations that I use in day to day, take all my screenshots related to work and etc. So here we go. All the links to these both apps are leaving in the description below. Thank you much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.